back to Red Ted Art. We have a super simple project for you today. These macrame um, t-shirt yarn bunnies. They look a little bit tricky the first time you make it, but once you get the hang of it, you will see they're really quick and easy to make. They make great little gifts. They would look nice on a keychain or just as a little decoration. Um, and because we're making them from t-shirt yarn, they're really inexpensive and a super fun craft to make. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. So to make your cute bunny, you will need uh, two pieces of yarn, some scissors and uh, a ruler. I've already started off with my first color yarn, which is the gray one, and I've cut a piece which is roughly two lengths of my ruler, so about 24 inches long. And we're going to create a figure of eight. So to do your figure of eight, you bring it round like this, over, tuck it underneath, and then bring it up like this. That's your figure of eight. Now you gently pull it tight, not too tight because you're going to need it again in a minute. I'm going to flip it over because I find that easier and I'm going to bring the top loop back in where my finger is. Hold this because you want to bring this loop back over these. And then gently put it all into place. There you have your first bunny ears knot. There you go, nice and tight. Now if you need to watch that again, just rewind the video and have another look. Next, I'm going to cut uh, about, <clears throat> let's see, 16 inches of uh, the blue. So that's 12. Let's do 17 inches just in case. You can always trim it afterwards. And this time, I'm going to put it on the table. Oh, actually find the center, like this. Then you turn this one upside down, place it over the top. So you're gonna lift that over, bring this over, bring this one down, over, and I'm gonna tuck it underneath and through this hole. And then very carefully pull it tight. Don't worry yet too much where it is on your rabbit, we can sort that out later. Now the first knot is always a bit trickier and then it gets a bit easier. So this time we're going to take this side, fold it over, bring this one over the top and then underneath and through. And again, pull it tight. Here we go. I'm trying to keep this bunny bit as straight as possible. Here we go. Got it. F flatten it again. This time you start on this side, bring it over, over, and underneath and through. And again we're going to pull it tight. Here we go. It's already coming together the little shape isn't it of the body. And we'll do it I think one more time over, across, underneath and through. Here we go. Actually, you know what? I think I want one more fold. Bring it over, across, underneath, and through. And tighten it. Here we go. Pull these through so that you've got the body at the top. Twist your ears around if you need to little trim here. There we go. And now you can just give it all a little wiggle so it's not too tight. Actually, do you think we should have a little bit more of the body? Let's have a look. I think we've got enough fabric, haven't we? So we put it over, 
across and through. There we go. There's no exact rules as to how you have to do it. That's why it's okay to change your mind as you go along. Right, now I'm happy. Pull it up. And now all you have to do is, is knot off the arms to give kind of like a little hand and also to stop it fraying. Here's one. I think it's really cute. And then this side, about the same distance. Here we go. And then you can decide how long you want your bunny's legs. Now I'm pretty certain that when my kids see these, they're going to get a marker pen and also draw on some eyes onto their bunnies. But you don't have to do that. Here we go. And there you have it. A super cute t-shirt yarn macrame bunny. Aren't they adorable? I think these would look great on book bags or, you know, just a little toy, a little decoration. Just really good fun. Anyway, this is the first of our many to come t-shirt yarn projects. So I hope you make your own t-shirt yarn. Check out how to do it. Um, and of course, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you here again soon. Bye.